Dear students, in the last class we were studying about Bessel functions. In particular, we studied about the zeros of Bessel functions and also some properties of these zeros. And what is the purpose of this concern with the zeros of JPX? It is often necessary in mathematical physics to expand a given function in terms of Bessel functions. Legendary polynomial is a function legendary function, legendary polynomial is a series of methods. That is why the Bessel function is a given function of series expansion. The simplest and most useful expansions of this kind are series of the form f of x equal to a1 jp of lambda 1x plus a2 jp of lambda 2x plus etc. jp of x is the Bessel functions. Here lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 etc. are the positive zeros of some fixed Bessel functions jp of x. JP of X and the Bessel functions in the zeros are lambda 1, lambda 2, etc. lambda n in the bar Zeros means that if we substitute x equal to lambda n, then JP of lambda n equal to zero. And we have already studied about different properties of the zeros of Bessel functions. Now we have a theorem without proof, Bessel expansion theorem. You may remember the statement of the proof only. Assume that f of x and f dash x have at most a finite number of jump discontinuities on the interval 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1. If x lies between 0 and 1, that is if 0 strictly less than x less than 1, then the Bessel series converges to the series converges to f of x when x is a point of continuity of this function and converges to half into f of x minus plus f of x plus when x is a point of discontinuity. f of x in the function 0 model 1 variable interval illa, only a finite number of jump discontinuities maathrame ullu enna assume jeeinu. Any x strictly lies between 0 and 1 naanu yengil. Also if x is a point of continuity, x f of x in the function is a continuous point naanu yengil. Continuity attain jeeinu maintain chayyinna one point on the angle e kaan in the series correct f of x ilhe ek converge chayyu otherwise if x is a point of discontinuity e series converge chayyinna the correct f of x ilhe ek ayirik ila pagaram half into f of x minus plus f of x plus ayirik and what happens at f is equal to 1 here when x equal to 1 the series becomes jp of lambda 1 plus a2 jp of lambda 2 plus etc and lambda 1, lambda 2, etc. are the zeros of jp of x. So, jp of lambda 1 equal to 0, jp of lambda 2 equal to 0, etc. So, we may conclude that if x equal to 1 in this case, the series converges to 0. Now, we are going to express a function f of x satisfying these conditions as a series of Bessel functions. So, to write f of x as a series of this kind, we have to determine what are the coefficients a1, a2, etc. Now, we have to find the coefficients a n such that f of x equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n into jp of lambda n x. So, we consider integral 0 to 1 x into f of x into jp of lambda m x dx. So, substituting for f of x, f of x is actually sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n into jp of lambda n x. So, I may take the summation sign outside the integral so we may write sigma n equal to 1 to infinity integral 0 to 1 x into a n into jp of lambda n x into jp of lambda m x dx so what happens to this integral we have the orthogonal property of Bessel functions as integral 0 to 1 x into jp of lambda n x into jp of lambda m x dx equal to 0 if m not equal to n and half into j p plus 1 of lambda n square if m equal to n. So, we will apply the orthogonal property of Bessel functions here and you may note that this integral has non-zero value only if m equal to n. If m not equal to n, the integral becomes 0. So, here we have to vary n from 1 to infinity. So, in a particular case, n equal to m. 
in that case only this integral has non-zero value so we may write the sum as integral 0 to 1 when n equal to a m what happens this becomes integral 0 to 1 x into a m into j p of lambda m x into j p of lambda m x dx all other terms in the sum become 0 so this is equal to by the orthogonal property of Bessel functions when n equal to m the integral is actually this one so here we are writing the integral in terms of em so we may write the integral as we may take am outside so am into j p plus 1 of lambda m square so we may replace m by n you may write a n is equal to sorry here it is am into 1 by 2 j p plus 1 of lambda m square that was the orthogonal property so a n is equal to 2 by j p plus 1 of lambda n square into integral 0 to 1 x into f of x into j p of lambda n x dx so using this formula for a n we can express a given function f of x as a Bessel series the Bessel's expansion of f of x is sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n into j p of lambda n x where lambda n are positive zeros of some fixed Bessel functions and a n is given by this formula 2 divided by j p plus 1 of lambda n square integral 0 to 1 x into f of x into j p of lambda n x dx. First problem is compute Bessel series of given functions in the interval 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 in terms of j0 of lambda nx. Here the first function is given as f of x equal to 1. So we have to express the function f of x equal to 1 as sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n into j0 of lambda nx. Here lambda n are positive zeros of the function j0 x. The formula for a n is 2 divided by j p plus 1 of lambda n square here p equal to 0 so p plus 1 equal to 1 so we may write j 1 of lambda n square into integral 0 to 1 x into f of x is 1 here f of x into j p of lambda n x dx that is j naught of lambda n x dx to integrate this function we will make use of this result we have proved a result that d by dx of x raised to p j p of x equal to x raised to p j p minus 1 of x. So integral x raised to p j p minus 1 of x dx equal to x raised to p j p of x. Putting p equal to 1 we have integral x raised to 1 j naught x dx equal to x raised to 1 j 1 of x. Now let us integrate this function this is equal to 2 by j 1 of lambda n square into here we have integral x into j naught of x here we have x into j naught of lambda n x so the corresponding integral is x into j 1 of lambda n x into derivative of lambda n x sorry uh, divided by derivative of lambda n x which is lambda n between the limits 0 to 1 so this becomes 2 divided by lambda n can be taken outside lambda n into j1 of lambda n square putting x equal to 1 we have j1 of lambda n minus when x equal to 0 the result is 0 so we have the result 2 divided by lambda n into j1 of lambda n 1 j1 of lambda n cancels here so we found out the coefficients a n now we have to express the function f of x equal to 1 as a series of Bessel functions so we may conclude that f of x equal to 1 which is equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n is 2 divided by lambda n into j1 of lambda n into j naught of lambda n x where 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 so this is the series expansion of f of x equal to 1 as a Bessel series. Next problem, if f of x equal to 1, if x lies between 0 and 1 by 2, 1 by 2 if x equal to 1 by 2 and 0 if 1 by 2 less than x less than or equal to 1. We have to show that f of x equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n into j naught of lambda n x where a n is j1 of lambda n by 2 divided by lambda n into j1 of lambda n square. Okay, where this lambda n are positive zeros of j naught x. 
So as usual, we assume that f of x is equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n into j naught of lambda n x, where the coefficients a n equal to 2 divided by j 1 of lambda n square into integral 0 to 1 x into f of x into j naught of lambda n x dx. So this equals 2 divided by j1 of lambda n square into integral 0 to 1 by 2 x into f of x is 1 in the interval 0 to 1 by 2. So we have x into 1 into j naught of lambda n x dx. Because in the interval 1 by 2 to 1 the value of f of x equal to 0. And when we integrate over finitely many points the measure of the points equal to measure of the interval corresponding interval equal to 0 measure of a finite set you know it's equal to 0 therefore integral becomes 0. So we need to consider only the interval between 0 and 1 by 2. So a n becomes 2 divided by j1 of lambda n square x into j1 of lambda n x divided by lambda n as in the previous problem within the limit 0 and 1 by 2. So this is equal to so actually 2 and 2 cancels here. So here it is 1 into j1 of lambda n by 2. We have the result a n equal to j1 of lambda n by 2 divided by lambda n into j1 of lambda n square. So you may express f of x as sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n into j0 of lambda n x. a n is here j1 of lambda n by 2 divided by lambda n into j1 of lambda n square into j0 of lambda n x. This was the expression given in the problem. In the section there are two more problems. Third problem is if f of x equal to x raised to p where 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 corresponding Bessel series is x raised to p equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 2 by lambda n into j p plus 1 of lambda n into j p of lambda n x. You may do the problem as in the problems earlier and fourth problem is express j 2 x, j 3 x and j 4 x in terms of j naught of x and j 1 of x. You have an identity here 2 p by x j p x equal to j p minus 1 of x plus j p plus 1 of x. So we have j p plus 1 of x equal to 2 p by x j p x minus j p minus 1 of x. So you may substitute p equal to 1, 2, 3 etc. And you may find corresponding values for j 2 x, j 3 x and j 4 x in terms of j naught x and j 1 x. Just, just try to do the problems.